has completed many space missions, but one of those missions had an unintended consequence. It's a scientific breakthrough that could reverse nothing else but radiation exposure. The Space Center was originally looking for a way to help astronauts to deal with the stress of space flight. To their surprise, though, an even bigger discovery was born. WDSU News reporter Rosa Flores has another story you will see only on 6. In the French Quarter, old traditions are captured with new gadgets, like smartphones. I use it like my little computer. The buzz linking cell phones to cancer, however, is making people nervous. Sometimes when I talk on the phone, I hold it a little bit more away from my head, so it's not touching my skin. The scary thing about radiation coming from a cell phone is, well, you can't see it. And we asked, medicine can't do much to prevent exposure. If people got radiation poisoning, they just had it. Okay, there's nothing that you could do to really prevent it. That's about to change. You see, NASA decided to develop a product to help astronauts cope with the stresses of spaceflight. And Amerisciences, the Houston company NASA partnered with, came up with this, a cocktail of multivitamin nutritional supplements. It's considered a scientific breakthrough, um, and it's really pretty profound when you think of the broader implications. The broader implications became very clear when a group of scientists from Pittsburgh University injected a group of mice with lethal doses of radiation. Turns out the mice that were treated with the supplement survived. We're optimistic that this product could have a profound effect potentially uh, for, ev for people that are every day exposed to things like cellular telephones, microwave ovens, a variety of different oxidative stresses that are out there every day. The Japanese are optimistic too. The health department there wants to use the product to treat the victims of the earthquake. And the medical community is also in awe. Because when you start talking about uh, things, uh, living things that were irradiated, and then you give them some medicine or some vitamins or whatever you give them, and then it kind of reverses the trend of, of uh, cancer-causing issue, that, that's a big thing. So that old tune about cell phones and cancer could soon be just that, a thing of the past, rewritten by science. Now, I talked to the CEO of AmeriSciences, and he tells me that the products out there available to the public, like this one, AS10 Life, has 90 to 95 percent the formula that's available to astronauts. He says that the ingredients that are not included have specific applications in space. Now, Japanese health officials, they want to import the original formula, the original formula that was available to astronauts. Now, there's another interesting tidbit. When NASA commissioned this study, they were planning a mission to visit Mars. On your side, I'm Rosa Flores for WDSU News. Thanks, Rosa. And to make it easy for you, we are linking the AmeriScientist website and the results of that study to our website, which is, of course, WDSU.com.